Yes, when we look in Deuteronomy 8, verse 1, it's in all the commandments which I commanded thee this day shall you observe to do that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your father. And thou shalt remember all the ways which the Lord thy God lead thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know that was to know what was in thine heart which thou would keep his commandments or not. So God tests the children of Israel and prove them to see when they enter in the land, what would they do if they would serve him or serve Hidal? God is the one that tests our heart, tests our mind, tests our soul, know who we are. And sometimes we really do not know who we are. The third verse he says, And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hungry, and fed thee with manna, which thou know not, neither did thy father know, that he might make thee know that man do not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of our mouth of the Lord do man live. So it's not by food make us to be strong or to, 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 to exalt ourselves. It is by the word of God we are lived by. And we are, if we abide by the word of God, we will multiply in the land and we will be successful and things will go well with us. So the scripture is saying, Thy raiment walks not whole upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. We should have gone through that land eleven days, but it take us forty years because we go around in circle and circle by not obeying the word of God, and that caused us to be around and around. Thou shalt also consider it in thine heart that as a man chastiseth his son, so the Lord thy God chastiseth thee. Now, God is not going to come down and hurt with a belt and beat you. But once you make a wrong move, you will see things not going the way which you want it to go. And, and that is... That is the reason why we have to abide by the word of God. The word of God may sound foolish to us sometimes. And we do our own thing, not knowing that the word of God is the foundation of man. Without the word, we cannot be in existence. So the, the word that um, Deuteronomy 8 verse 6 says, Therefore thou shalt keep thy commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord do for the Lord thy God bring thee into a good land, a land of brook, of water, of foundation, fountains of depth, that spring out of village, valleys and hills. Praise God. So when we look in Jamaica land, we love all of these things is really the way the scripture told us. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. He said, a land of wheat and barley's vines and fig trees, pangonuts, a land of oil, olive, and honey. We have everything, everything, everything. Yeah, one in our kitchen, one outside. A land wherein thou shalt heat bread without scarceness. Thou shalt not lock anything in it. A land whose stones are high -end 
and out of whom hills thou mayst dig cross. Praise God. We are so strong. We are so strong in Jamaica. And therefore, because God built us, built us this way, we are supposed to be praising him in spirit and in truth. But we lack that, praise God, and start to worship idols. The 10 verse, he said, Then thou hast eaten and are full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God, for he give good land which he had give thee. Good land, good land, praise God. He didn't care, care us into a land that was barren, but a land that was is so fruitful, praise God. Fruitful, praise God. He said, Beware thou forgot not the Lord thy God in not keeping his commandments and his judgment and his statutes which I commanded thee this day. Lest when thou hast eaten and be full and had built goodly house and dwell therein and then thy herbs and thy flock multiply we start to not giving God the glory and the praise. Praise God. So this is a warning. The 15th verse says, Who led thee far through the great and terrible wilderness, wherein there fierce serpents and scorpions and drought there were no water, who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint. Praise God. God is good. He brought us out from a mighty, mighty long way. Therefore, we must give him the praise. We must appreciate, appreciate him. Praise God. In a land that he said he have he had brought us out of. He said it was so terrible. Wilderness, wherein there were fierce serpent. This serpent bite and bring drought. But God still kept us and and preserve our life so that we can praise Him. Who feed thee in the desert? Who feed thee in the wilderness with manna which thy father know not, that he might humble thee and that he might prove thee to do thee good at the letter end. Praise God. Therefore, Jamaica, we need to give God praise. We need to magnify him. We need to lift him up. Praise God. Because if we don't lift him up, turn from our ways, and serving in spirit and in truth. This is not a time for us to play church or to go around and to pine finger, but let us all come together, humble ourselves before the presence of God and praise Him, lift Him up and exalt His name together. It is not easy for me to sit here and to tell you about the God that I serve, Jesus Christ. I was nothing, I was nothing, but he picked me up, hallelujah, and turned me around and plant my feet upon a rock to stay. Today, I am asking you, Jamaicans, let us repent. Let us go back to the place of worship and sanctification so that God will bless our land and bless our children and bless everything that we put our hands to.